This week, I'm going to lead you through a short practice to calm down for a good night's sleep. We're going to do a short yin-based practice with a few poses, and you could do this in your bed or on the mat, whichever way you prefer. Let's get started. For this week's practice, I would recommend having a bolster or some kind of a big cushion or a pillow or maybe a big blanket that you can roll, just so you can have something for our final reclining back bend. Other than that, you might be all good without any props, unless you really like to use props in your practice. Bring them all in and find your practice space. I'm practicing on the mat, but you might do this in your bed as well. We're going to start just very briefly on all fours. So find your way onto hands and knees. And we'll start by circling the weight from hands to knees, knees to hands. You might bend your elbows and just look for gentle movement in the hip joints, shoulder joints. Or you might start to bring some movement to your spine. Maybe there's some cat-cow movements going on. You can change the direction if you haven't already. And just notice how you feel in those big joints, in the shoulders, hips, how your neck feels. Is there a way you could soften your neck, your shoulders a bit more? And a few breaths, a few movements. Just in your own pace, starting to find your own rhythm and calming down that rhythm. And let's bring weight to center and then lower down onto the belly. So bring yourself to lie down on your belly. And we're going to go into the half frog pose. So you could bring hands under it or you could turn one cheek on the mat. And we're going to start by bending the left knee and opening the left hip so we slide the left knee along the floor or along the bed to the left side of the body, creating an opening around that left inner thigh, some gentle stress in that left hip. If you want, you can also extend the left leg further. Make sure there's no pain in that hip joint, no pain in the knee joint. And then take five to ten breaths in your half frog pose. Allow those breaths to slide down to the belly area. Also soften your right hip. Soften your buttocks, your lower back. Soften your belly. Soften your shoulders. Take a few more breaths in and out. With each exhalation, let yourself become just a bit heavier. It's really trying to exhale tension. And then after your few breaths, slowly slide your left leg back down closer to the right leg. You could rock the pelvis from side to side. And we'll do the same, this half frog pose to the right side. So now we're going to open the right hip, slide the right knee, the right leg, either along the floor or along the bed, out to the right side. And again, you choose if the right knee stays bent or if you want to extend the right leg further. Maybe on the second side, the shape needs to be a bit different. And give yourself those five to ten breaths on the second side. 
You might feel a stretch. But more than anything, let yourself focus on releasing tension, releasing effort. And just letting yourself soften into the pose. Letting the breath quiet down as well. And let your mind, your thoughts, rest in observing the breath. Give yourself a few more breaths on the second side of the half frog. Then we're going to transition into an open twist. So you could leave your right leg out on the side, bring some weight onto your hands, your elbows, and lean onto your left side, either keeping the right knee bent and left leg extended, or bending both knees to your left side, and then open your chest up towards the ceiling so you find yourself in an open reclining twist. Head can turn to one side or the other. Left hand could rest on your right knee or thigh and the right arm could be extended on the side or it could be bent. Make sure there's no pain in your back, no pain in the hips. And you can find those five to 10 breaths in your own pace, with your own rhythm. your right knee, right shoulder to slowly slide away from each other as if you're opening that right side body. Take another breath or two in and out. And after those breaths, we're going to slowly slide on to the back. You might bend both knees. And then we're going to go into the twist on the other side. So on this side, either left knee bent, right leg extended away from the head, or both knees bent on the right side of the mat. Open your chest. You could open your left arm out to the side as well. You could turn your head to one side or the other. The second side might be different and that's very fine. And five to 10 more breaths here in and out. Allow your jaw to soften. Check that you're not biting teeth together. Again, take another breath or two in and out. And then leave your legs to the side of the mat and close your chest. Bring left hand on the mat 
and slowly help yourself up into a seat. Now we're going to go into a seated butterfly. You can either use no props here, or if you have your bolster, your pillow, you can bring it in front of you. And we're going to slowly exhale round the back forward. You could use your prop under the head or under the chest. You could also bring hands or arms under your head. You can still adjust the shape in the legs so you feel that you can lean forward for a moment, closing in. Make sure, again, there's no pain in your hip joints, no pain in the knee joints. And breathe another five to ten more breaths here. You could send these breaths towards the back, to the back of the ribs, to the back of the spine. Allow your belly, your chest to become heavy. Allow your head to become heavy. Take a couple more breaths in and out in your forward bend. And then slowly, slowly inhale, bring your back, your neck, your head up. You could roll the shoulders a couple of times and just take a few breaths in and out. Maybe turn the head from side to side. And then bring your bolster, your pillow or your blanket behind your back. We're going to go into our final pose, the reclining back bend. You could leave your legs in an open butterfly shape. Or you might just lengthen your legs onto the mat, onto your bed, and then lean your back, your head onto that support. If your lower back feels tender here, bend your knees. Maybe lean the knees, thighs inwards against each other. Arms can be out on the on the sides, like an open T shape or a cactus shape. Or you might even bring arms overhead. If that doesn't feel good, you're very welcome to leave arms lower down. Keep hands close to the body. Allow your chest to gently open. Allow your shoulder blades to sink down. Allow your whole back to become heavy. Let yourself feel supported. If you need to adjust your pose, you're more than welcome to adjust. In this pose, we're going to spend a bit longer time. So really make yourself comfortable. Or if at any point you start to feel pain in your body, you might push the bolster aside and bring yourself onto the mat, onto your bed, lying down on the back without the bolster. Bring your full awareness back to your breath. 
And just start to observe each flow in and each flow out, noticing each breath. If you notice that you're holding tension in your body, tension that you don't need right now for this shape, for this pose, give yourself permission to let go. Exhale that tension. Now you have an option. Either stay in the supported back bend, or with your next few breaths, you could slowly slide onto your back in Shavasana pose. I'm going to bring myself up into a seat just to support the ending of your practice. But I suggest we stay lying down, either on the bolster or on your bed, on the mat, in Shavasana pose. Breathe in and out. Wherever you are, on the bolster or on your back in Shavasana pose, take a moment to thank yourself for slowing down, for taking a moment to look after yourself, helping yourself to calm down from whatever happened during your day today. You can still continue your practice. Stay in your resting pose. Or maybe slowly slide towards sleep. Thank you very much for joining in. Namaste.